I keep having these vivid dreams. Weird dreams. I like Frosties. Love the Thompson Twins. And now believe the bees beat the phantoms. How did this all happen? Fist bumps all round as the 2019 league action return to the hive with the Barnsher Cycles Bracknell Bees welcoming the Peterborough Phantoms to town with the home side knocking on the door early on as Scott Spearing and a rushing Zach Milton went close to breaking the resolute deadlock the Phantoms were attempting to set up. Those who've seen Peterborough set up in away games know how effective it can be but even when it breaks down like here with Tyler Van Cleef Jordan Marr has proven himself to be somewhat of a resolute wall to get past. But eventually the Bees would find a way through before the conclusion of the first. A fine pass from the boards by Aidan Dowdy found Roman Malenik and although his opportunity hit the post, Josh Martin was on hand to pick up the pieces and bury the rebound. Worth checking the TSI World Replay here just to see how close Malenik was to finding the back of the net himself and also how Martin still needed to lift the puck over the sprawling Ma to give the host the lead. And just to prove the Bees were putting everything on the line in this game, when it did look like the Phantoms would get away, Harvey Stead took to the ice to break up the opportunity. All the hallmarks of a family trait there to hand the Bees the lead at the period break. Now Adrian, do I really have to commentate over these two goals? Honestly? Do I? Feels like I'm being controlled here. But it's Beast TV and we show you all the goals and midway through the second the game was turned on its head. First, James Ferrara found himself in the right place at the right time to bring the Phantoms level. Then to compound matters just 11 seconds later, it would be the Phantoms in the lead. Martin Susters grabbing the go-ahead goal. <laughs> Leaving me to wonder if there's the perfect adjective to describe this play. Quite. So into the third period with the Berkshire Cycles Bracknell Bees staring into a black mirror of defeat. Malenik was leading the charge though, only to lose his handle on the puck for the clear opportunity and again leave a scramble of bodies around the net. However, a power play opportunity would open the door for the Bees with less than two minutes to play and left Coach Shepherd with a couple of options. What do we do guys? What should we come up with? Of course, there was only one option to take with Dean Skins heading to the bench, leaving a swarm of bees with a 6 on 4 opportunity. OK, maybe not how it was drawn up on the coaching board, but still they all count as our TSI World Replay shows. Antonov reacting to the broken play to fire into the empty net and set up overtime. Fast and frenetic three-on-three -three action followed until Van Cleef found himself on the end of this collision with Will Weldon, with even referee Pickett wanting to get in on the beaver snatch action. Ha! Now who's really in control? Of course, with it being overtime, it would be four-on-three advantage this time, with the bees piling the pressure on. But 
as Weldon returned to the ice. Sean Thompson took the water bottle for a little spin on the top of the net as the Bees secured a vital two points.